Welcome back to the Daily Mastermind. My name is George Wright III with your daily dose of inspiration, motivation, and education so that you can create your ultimate destiny. It's time to get into one of my all-time favorite books um, by Dale Carnegie. It's How to Win Friends and Influence People. But before I do, I want to jump into the mobile app quote of the day. If you haven't downloaded the Daily Mastermind mobile app, I encourage you to do that on iTunes or Android Marketplace, Google Play. Um, Let's see here. The quote of the day is, success lies not in being the best, but in doing your best. Success lies not in being the best, but in doing your best. That's a great quote because it just reiterates the fact that success is not a destination. It's about the journey. It's about doing your best, giving it 100%. And I love that because it's also one that I've, I've been thinking a lot about lately, um, this same comment, which is how you do anything is how you do everything. I think so many of us in our lives strive to be hard workers, effective in certain areas of our lives and other areas, we just kind of take a back seat. And what, what I'm realizing more and more, and I think you'll realize as well, is that how you do anything is how you do everything in your life. And so you need to realize that doing your best is what's going to create success for you. Anyway, so that's the quote of the day. And um, this week, we're going to be spending the entire week reviewing, like I said, one of my all-time favorite books by Dale Carnegie, How to Win Friends and Influence People. This is a book that's been written, it was written over 80 years ago, um, but it's an amazing personal development book. And I go back and I read it as often as as I can. It's been a little while, but I saw that on my shelf the other day and I brought it out and I thought this is this is definitely a book that I'd like to summarize at a high level for you. It's one of the best books. Um, It's actually one of the best selling books of all time with over 30 million copies sold. They sell about a quarter million a year since 1934 when it was first printed. Amazon has it listed as the 11th highest selling nonfiction book of all time and Time Magazine lists it in its top 100 most influential books in history. So this is definitely a book if you have not read, and even if you have read, it's time for you to pull it back out. It's a book that can help you create the best version of yourself and also lots and lots of success in life. Now I want to provide a high-level summary of the book, and I want to encourage you, uh, even though I'm going to summarize it, to pick up a copy and spend time really reading through and highlighting and studying the concepts and trainings of the book. I believe that you'll study its principles, you know, over and over in your lifetime, just like I have. And you're going to get knowledge and understanding as you develop in your business and in your life at different points in your life. But man, oh man, every time I read this book, it just gives me more and more. So before I get into the book, I do want to comment just a little bit on how and why uh, Carnegie wrote this book. So he was actually a teacher uh, and, and, a, and a trainer. He developed some amazing sales and, and communication training courses over his lifetime. But this is a great, um, a great example of someone that developed something out of a need for themselves that ended up affecting and influencing the world. He, he, wasn't, he didn't set out to write a book. He was actually um, a teacher and a trainer and developed certain principles that he felt he needed and his students needed and he gave this lecture over and over called How to Win Friends and Influence People. And it started out as kind of short notes, and then it grew and it grew as he researched and learned more. But he was at one point approached by a gentleman that heard his lecture, and, and that gentleman was from uh, Simon & Schuster and offered to publish his book. So he went back and, and wrote it. So this is, this is why I want to point this out is, m- number one, you know, this is an example of someone who developed something that he was passionate about, passionate about, and that he needed for himself. So we talk a lot of times in business about scratching your own itch. In other words, one of the reasons I started this podcast was for my own benefits. You might be doing something in your life that you're passionate about, that you're doing things with that could turn into something that's that's just amazing and influences millions and millions of people. The second point I wanted to bring out is I believe that, you know, one of the number one problems that we're going to deal with in life and business today is communication. It is dealing with people. And it's amazing to me that this is something that's not taught more often. You know, uh, John D. Rockefeller said in his heyday that uh, the ability to deal with people is as purchasable a commodity as sugar and coffee. And he would pay more for that ability to deal with people than any other thing under the sun. 
So that, and that comes right from John D. Rockefeller. And I think that this highlights just how important dealing with other people is. So the book begins, a lot of times when people summarize it, they don't go through this, but I want to because it begins by helping you to understand what exactly the teachings will help you to do. What's it going to do for you? So he lists 12 things that this book will help you with. And I want to go through those with you relatively quickly. And, you know, the new versions of the book only have eight listed, but I'm going to put the original 12 um, into our summary. And I've added it to our blog article on the Daily Mastermind um, website, dailymastermind.com. So here are the 12 things. Number one, it's going to help you get out of a mental rut. It's going to help you get out of a mental rut, give you new thoughts, new visions, or ambitions. Number two, it's going to enable you to make friends quickly and easily. Number three, it will increase your popularity. Number four, it'll help you to win people to your way of thinking. Number five, it'll increase your influence, your prestige, your ability to get things done. And number six, It'll enable you to win new clients, new customers. Number seven, it helps you to increase your earning power. Definitely believe that one. Number eight, make you a better salesperson or a better executive. Communication definitely will help you with that. Number nine, it'll help you to handle complaints, avoid arguments, and keep your human contact smooth and pleasant. That's a, that's a good one, especially for us A personalities. Smooth and pleasant contact. Number 10, make you a better speaker and a more entertaining conversationalist. Number 11, it'll help make the principles of psychology easy for you to apply in your daily contacts. And number 12, it'll help you to arouse enthusiasm among your associates. Now, I want to make sure that I make a point here that you read a little bit between the lines. The goal here is not to put your efforts into making people like you or gain recognition or even value too much what other people think. That's not what he's saying, and so don't go that direction. Um, It's definitely a byproduct that you'll have more people like you and you'll gain recognition and and approval. But the goal is to create influence in, in order to achieve the levels of prosperity you desire in your life or increase the prosperity of your business. So if any of the items above interest you, then I really encourage you to tune in this week because we're going to go through each day just a quick section because each part of this book gives you ideas and strategies that you can use. But more importantly, I want to highlight that if the reason I want you to read the book is that it's packed with stories, examples, quotes, and things that will help you to understand it better. My goal this week is just to highlight it. So there are four parts of the book. The first part is techniques for handling people. The second part is ways to make people like you. The third part is winning people over to your way of thinking. This This is true influence. And then number four, becoming a better leader. So those are the four sections of the book we're going to cover Tuesday through Friday. And I want to encourage you to read each chapter in the book from your own perspective in business or life, relationships, and see how you can apply it. Um, but throughout the week, I'll be discussing and expanding each of those four sections of the book. And I want to encourage you to pick up the book. Do that this week, because even if you're highlighting along, you're, you can join me and I can get a lot of feedback from you as well. So that's, um, that's the book we're going to be covering this week. I'm excited to cover it. I hope you are too. I definitely think this is a, uh, uh, an absolute gold mine of information that you're going to have this week, and I'm excited to review it with you. With that being said, I'm going to let you go. I look forward to talking with you throughout the week. And remember, it's never too late to start living the life you are meant to live. It is a new, wor- new week. It's a new day. And for those of you that are just joining us, I hope you'll download and share the podcast. Um, It's available on all the platforms. But I look forward to talking with you more tomorrow. This is George Wright III, and this has been The Daily Mastermind. Have a great day.